In this class we learn about navigation in 3ds max. Navigation means how you can maximize minimize a active viewport, zoom in zoom out and orbit rotation. So first we learn how you can maximize this perspective viewport because it's a active viewport. By pressing alt w you can maximize to this viewport and it's a toggle keyboard shortcut so if you press alt w again it will minimize. If you want to make any viewport as a active viewport so by mouse click you can turn that viewport into a active viewport. You can also do this by keyboard shortcut that is window key and then press shift key. So you can see it will change. So one viewport to another viewport. But in case if you want to maximize this viewport first you have to manually click on this viewport otherwise last viewport will be maximized so it's a little bit glitch so i press alt w now you can see top viewport is maximized and if i press window key and then press shift key now you can see front viewport is active viewport but when i press alt w you can see top viewport is maximized so it's a little bit glitch now i minimize this again you can find this keyboard shortcut in the plus button when you click on the plus icon if layout will display here you can see maximize viewport keyboard shortcut is alt w there are some other options like show grid by pressing g you can enable or disable grid now i press g keyboard shortcut to disable the grid sometime by mistake you can press g so grid turn off so you can enable this again by pressing g keyboard shortcut so it's also a very useful keyboard shortcut now I create a object inside this viewport but you can see it turned into front viewport. So in case if you want to change this viewport so click here and here you can see the viewport name. So keyboard shortcut for top is T. Uh, now I press T it's turned into top viewport. You can also use this keyboard shortcut when you maximize this viewport. If you want to switch to perspective viewport press P, P for perspective viewport, T for top viewport. Same as you can also use other keyboard shortcut like F for front, L for left. You can see the uh, viewport name here. So now I click here and you have to remember these keyboard shortcut P for perspective, U for orthographic. It's a 2.5D viewport, T for top f for front and l for left if you want to switch to any other viewport that are not mentioned in this list you can press v if layout will display here and here you can see other viewport name so by clicking on uh, that like right you can switch to right viewport so it's also a very useful keyboard shortcut that is v v for viewport layout now I press Alt W and switch to top viewport and then create a box inside this. So first you have to select box tool and then click and drag on the top viewport so you can create a base for that box. Now release your mouse and then move your mouse little bit upside. So you can see height will change. Then click here and this parameter also applied. Now you can exit from the box tool because it's selected. You can exit by two methods. One is right click. If you right click you can exit from the box tool or you can also press escape key. If you want to zoom uh, in a particular area you can use mouse wheel but you have to place pointer at that area so you can zoom easily. Or you can also zoom out by scroll wheel so you can zoom in zoom out by scroll wheel just move up or down side and now I switch to perspective viewport and then press alt w if I click on this object you can see a glowing line appear around the object it's mean it's a selected object or you can also see this stick line gizmo with the axis so it's mean it's a selected object if you click outside this object got deselected and you are not able to see that access buttons here so it's not a selected object by scroll wheel i zoom out little bit in case if you want to orbit rotation uh, press alt key and then click and hold on the scroll wheel now if you move 
your mouse left right you can rotate this but in case if you want to rotate in a easy way first you have to select that object then press alt scroll wheel and then move your mouse left right for uh, rotation uh, like this and if you move your mouse up and down it will rotate like this so you have to practice this couple of time now i switch to four viewport window again by pressing alt w in case if you zoom uh, your scene like this and if you want to pan this you can do this by a scroll wheel click and hold on the scroll wheel without pressing any key and you can see a hand tool will appear by click and drag you can pan your screen you can do this in any viewport uh, like perspective viewport also or any side viewport so it's also a very helpful tool after zooming or panning in case if you want to reset the grid zoom label you can use focus key that is z so first deselect all the object by clicking in a empty area and then press z now you can see this box fit to this front viewport same as if you click on the top viewport then press z it will fit in the top viewport and same as other viewport also so it's a focus key sometime it's very useful now i zoom out this top viewport and create a box here so i choose box tool again then click and drag define a base then move your mouse upside and then click now i exit from the box tool by right click now you are not able to see this box in any other viewport but if you want to see this in the perspective viewport first you have to turn this viewport as a active viewport so if you simple left click in the perspective viewport you can see this box got deselected if you didn't want to deselect this object in the process to activate this perspective viewport or any other viewport you can use a scroll wheel i show you first i select this uh, when this plus icon starts showing in the top viewport then click here now this object is selected object now i click here in the perspective viewport by scroll wheel now you can see this viewport turned into active viewport but this object is still selected now i press z keyboard shortcut now you can see this object focus in the perspective viewport and if i click outside all the object are deselected then press z key now you can see both object in the perspective viewport so it's very helpful keyboard shortcut if you want to focus a selected object or focus on the all the scene so you can remember this now we see the shading related settings first i maximize this perspective viewport by pressing alt w and then press f3 so by pressing f3 you can activate wireframe mode and by pressing f3 again you can switch to mesh or shaded view by pressing f4 keyboard shortcut you can enable edges you can see this here edge face mode is turned on and if i press f4 again uh, now you can see shading mode is activate but you are not able to see the changes here so i create a sphere uh, here i choose sphere tool click and drag a sphere is created first i have to exit from the sphere tool so i press right click then alt w now i press f4 you can see the edges around the sphere so if i click outside uh, i think sphere tool is still selected then right click again uh, now i press f4 keyboard shortcut again so you can see edge face mode is turned off and when i press f4 key again edge face mode turned on so these are two keyboard shortcut that related for shading is very important f3 it's turned on or turned off wireframe mode and f4 for edge face mode 